Okay, let's talk about how to add events to your calendar. Here's your website. And I'm just going to point out that I have this little widget right here on your right hand column that shows upcoming events. So there's the event that we have plugged in there. And if I wanted to view all events, I would click on this link and it would take me over to the uh, event calendar page and I have this set to show in a monthly display. So here's our uh, January 20th event and I like this plug-in. Um, it shows you know this pop-up window makes it nice people can see what the event is about and then uh, if I click on the event it takes me over to the detail page for that event. Shows me the date, the time. It's free. It would show the cost here, where it's going to be at. I can add an image if I want. And then I can come down here and talk about the event. And then down here are the details of the event. Although I noticed this doesn't filled in quite right. We'll look at that. And then um, the venue, the map. It's a nice it's a nice calendar. So how do we add an event? Well we go over to the dashboard. Here's your dashboard where you log into the back side of your website. And I don't know if you've been in here but uh, when you first come into the dashboard here Here's your site stats and shows you all the hits that you've had each day. And then if you want to go into view all, it shows you um, this bar graph, the days, the weeks, the months. It'll tell you where people are coming from, uh, the search engine terms, the top posts and pages that people are clicking on, clicks, subscriptions to your blog. Okay, so all this menu system runs your website. So, um, for instance, here's all your pages. If you wanted to edit a page, you would come in here. I'll just click on this one. Here's the About Mimi page. Here's all the text that we've put in there in the picture. And then if I wanted to make some changes in here, I would click in this box wherever I wanted to make a change. Let's say I wanted to add something right here. I would add it here. And then I would come over here and make sure you hit the update button. Um, to save your changes. And I like to have both windows open when I'm working on a website. That meaning the administration section over here where I'm working on the site and then come back over here on this tab and see the live site when I can refresh the page here and see my changes. Now, the events calendar is right here. Events. Here's the one event that we have. We also have um, event here. All of this menu right here is for events. If I go to event categories, I have two event categories created, blog talk radio and school performances. Here's where you would add a different category if you'd like. Or you could change these. You could edit these. 
he didn't like the name of them. Um, those are important to have. Anytime you can get more detail on your website, the search engines are going to pick up on these words. Venues would be where, where the, you know, obviously where it's going to be held. I've got Liberty Hill Elementary School in there. Again, not a bad idea. I mean, you could skip these and not put this in, but it's important because, again, search engines. And then organizers. Obviously, you're the organizer, so I have Mimi's Country Porch created in here as an organizer. But you could have uh, Vince in there. Let's say he did something. So I have your phone number in there and email. So back up to events. Let's look at this one that I put in there for you. All right, so we have a title. Liberty Hill Elementary School is what I put in there. And then down here in this description box, just like any you know word editor or you'd add your information here. Over here are the event categories. So I chose the school performances. Down here is the time and date. It could be an all day event or you put in your start time and your end time. The location, I have that, I had created that, you know, venue, Liberty Hill Elementary School. And if I edit the venue right here, it brings me back to this venue. I could change this um, information if I wanted. See, I have the address in there the phone number, the website of the school. I'm going to, okay, I don't need to see this anymore, so I'm going to close this tab. Now I'm on this, you know, the administration tab again. So there's our um, location, our venue. And yes, I want you to show the map and the link. The organizer is Mimi's Country Porch, right here. We could um, create a new one right here if we wanted. Same with up here on the venue, if this drop down, you could start a new one. The event website, well, that's us, so I left that open. The cost um, is free, so I put zero in there. Over here, I added a featured image. So that shows up like, you know, over here on the on the live site. When I click on this, there it is. There's my featured image. How do I get that in there? Um, I'll remove it. I want an image for this. Set featured image. Click on that. It brings you up to the media library. And these are all the images I have already have in your media library that we've used on the website. So if I wanted to use one of these, I could. Or if I wanted to upload a new image, I'd click on this and select a file from my computer, grab it, and stick it in there. So I used uh, this image right here. So I'll click on that and set it as the featured image. And there it is. But I gotta remember to update to save it. So once I've made my changes and I've updated, I can come over here to the live site and do a refresh. 
make sure all my information's in there like I want it and it looks good. Okay, there it is. One more thing I'll show you is the posts. And this would be where you add your blog articles. And this is uh, the one that I created for you. What do you think makes a good leader? And here's my article that I wrote about it. And if I go over to the live site and click on the blog, if you scroll down, there's that article. And if you click on the continue reading, it would take you to the full article. And this is where you can share it or you can make a comment. I made a comment. back over to the blog. One thing I like about this calendar plugin that I'm using, it automatically adds any event to the blog. So here's that event we added to the calendar and it shows up here on the blog page, which is wonderful. There it is. I mean, that's really cool. Hey, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Bye.